Hello guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today we're talking about your healing and how it's already a part of you. You already know how to do this. You know how to heal yourself. Your body knows. Your inner faculties know how to heal, repair, regrow, do it all. You see the thing is, is actually our job on this healing process is to just get out of the way accept it as a fact, know it to be true, and then surrender to that. You see, the whole point of this is what I'm trying to say is it's <clears throat> it's your belief. You either associate yourself as someone who is well or someone who is unwell. You see, and it's the association, it's the way that we claim ourselves to be it. I work with a lot of clients who are looking to heal. And the th main thing that we work on is overcoming the identity that they put on themselves. A lot of people who suffer with huge anxiety, they say, I'm so anxious, I'm so fearful all the time, I'm so worried all the time, and they claim it so boldly with their words. So you need to know that your words have power, they have meaning, and you're claiming that to be. You already know how to heal yourself. You already know how to get out of the way. Okay, stop claiming to be something that you don't wish. Boldly claim with feeling, with power, with passion. I am whole, healthy, well, and my life is working out wonderfully for me. One of the most amazing things that I've found with clients is, is that when we can keep ourselves facing the direction, no matter what reality keeps throwing at us, when we can keep ourselves facing the direction and we can keep ourselves calm easy and accepting of the good, it comes to us very naturally, it comes to us very easily. So the way that I want you to sort of see this image of you now is when you realize your body already knows exactly how to heal, you've got to stop thinking about it as having to sort of connect with a divine energy. The divine is already within you. The divine is already a part of you whether you feel like you're connected to it or not. It's like a bit like a tap, this energy. Think of the divine energy like a tap. You either have it open or you have it shut. So you either have it flowing or you either have it blocked. Many of us lived with, with blocked energy. Pent up fear, pent up worry, pent up aggression, pent up, f <laughs> you name it. Any low frequency energy. And what we need to do is we need to get rid of the sludge. We need to get the sludge away and let the tap open once more. How do we do that though? You see, I'm a practical guy. I wanna know how to do that. Well, you see, <clears throat> the thing is, you can't add love on top of a feeling of fear. So if you are living in fear at the moment, we need to work on a way to bring you back up the ladder of emotion a bit simpler. We need to get you out of your way. That's why deep breathing, meditative practices and wonderful uses of emotional affirmations are the key. So one way you do it is you sit back from that feeling. So you may have had the proclamation from a doctor or someone saying you're ill and you're going to have this for the rest of your life. There's a part of you that didn't, doesn't believe this. That's why you're at this video. So that part of you that doesn't believe this is the inner being saying, no, I am whole. I am one with the divine. Nothing bad can live in my body if I am connected to the divine. How do you, and now, the next step then is to sit back from that feeling of fear, which is very natural. The reaction that you've had of it is one of fear and one of doubt, that's very natural. So you need to sit back from it for a moment. You need to sit in the seat of consciousness, as Michael Singer would say. Focus on the feeling without judgment. Just notice it. Sit back from it, notice it and breathe. That feeling will then flow out of you. Then what we do after that, once we feel ourselves come away from the fear, we feel ourselves relaxing. This is why Dr. Joe Dispenza does the open focus meditation and gets you to sense space because it takes you out of your current state of being and puts you in one of, let's just say, uh, neutral once you have got yourself to a neutral energy using these techniques, then we can start to place the feelings of wellness, wholeness, love, joy, abundance, whatever you want it to be. Then 
you need to say to yourself and you need to decide right now after that fact, you need to decide that this works for you, this is true, you are whole. Every step of the journey, whether it looks good or bad, is all part of the healing process, all part of you coming back into alignment. You see, I work with <clears throat> some clients who are trying to heal pets or heal others or themselves, and they hit that wall. And then I have to say to them, You're, you already know how to do this. You are just having a little test at the moment. So you know what to do. Keep doing the process. Keep ignoring reality and focusing on the reality that you want. Then your job really after that, once you've overcome yourself a bit, is just to maintain the energy, maintain the feeling of fun, joyful, playful energy, no matter how much work that takes. You know, happiness is a learned habit, just the same as anxiety and depression. So let's learn to live in joy, regardless of what's happening around us. Once the um, sort of outer world stops being such a mirror to how you should feel, then you will start to truly create, you will truly start to heal. So you already know how to do this, your body knows how to heal you, your subconscious mind knows how to make you wealthy, you know how to connect to the divine because you come from it, so all you have to do is learn how to get out of the way. So keep up those meditative practices, keep affirming that with feeling what you wish to see in your life and keep moving forward. Just keep going. You know what to do. I'm telling you today, you keep questioning. The problem I get with a lot of people who do, especially Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, is they question whether they're doing it right because there's so much information to take in. Simplify the process a little bit. Just start to trust yourself that you already know how to do it. So you just need to take it one step at a time. You just need to keep going. You're doing beautifully. I'm very proud of you all. All of you who have subscribed to my channel, all of you that have been following me for a while, I know you're taking on these lessons and you're applying them to your life and I'm proud of you. So if you are uncertain, if you are doing the right job, the reason why my clients are having such good success rates is because they have someone like me to help keep them on the path and tell them when they're straying and tell them when they're doing it right. 95% of the time they're doing it right but they just question themselves. They just keep thinking, I don't know how to do this. Well, you already know it. It's a divine right of yours to have a wonderful, joyful, joyous life. You are one with the divine and the divine loves you and if you open up to it, you love it back, it will love you even more. It will bring you everything you've ever dreamed of. I hope this answers all your questions. Please do make sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment down below, how's your healing journey going? If I can help you in any way, come visit me at my website. Take care guys, thank you so much, all the love.